Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I, with all good conscience, could not just delete these uh, four emails that I got from Tessa, our sister who goes by C.G. Gray Gray. Um, she keeps an alert out for these food recalls. So I've got four here to do at one time. Okay, links will be in the description box now. First one is put up by Newsweek, and it was put out on, it says Friday, October 30th. Now, how is that possible? Oh, today is Friday, October 30th. Okay, well, maybe it came in last, and I, I don't know, but it says, Trader Joe's recalls packaged fish from stores in 20 states. Okay, um, let's see, I'm not familiar with Trader Joe's, perhaps you have one in your town, I'll read, um, okay, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, has announced the recall of halibut in Trader Joe's stores across 20 states because of undeclared wheat and milk allergens. Okay, thank goodness this time it's not from salmonella. Seattle-based Orca Bay Foods has recalled 4,450 pounds. So if you have some and you don't have a gluten problem, Wheat doesn't bother you, and milk doesn't bother you. Just keep it. That means there could be a trace of it in there. And for some people, I guess that could be enough to blow them up and make them have anaphylactic shock and all that. They don't want that. All right, so it's there's 356 cases of 10-ounce retail box Trader Joe's brand gluten-free battered halibut all right so somehow some gluten got into the gluten-free batch the product has a label of SKU that's SAM kitchen unit 00503822 the reason for the recall is that it contains undeclared wheat and milk allergens the link will be in the description box best look into it if you have some and you have allergies the next one is about oh it's the other one on Trader Joe's halibut um, put out by CNN and let's see if this is the one that was older yeah, this is the one. It was put out on October 27th. So, the other one was put out by, who did I say? Um, Newsweek. Okay, so I guess it's a pretty big deal. I mean, that looks pretty good. I love battered fish, man. Take me to seafood any anytime. But anyway... This is the same thing. Um, so far, there have been no illnesses reported. That's a good thing. People who have an allergy or severe sensitivity to wheat and milk run the risk of serious or life-threatening allergic reaction if they consume the product, Seattle-based Orca Bay said in an announcement via the Food and Drug Administration. Okay, moving on to the next one which for some reason wants to keep jumping up and down. Um, okay, so I don't know why it's doing that. Why are you doing that? All these Tesco little... Okay, stop doing that. So, let's see. Allow notifications. Let's see if that'll help. Nope. The, the publication online is called Hull Live. All one word, H-U-L-L, -L, capital L-I-V-E, or help, whole live, maybe? So it's whole daily mail, 
dot co dot uk all right and that that link will be in the description box this says this is a weird site it's very dark and it it's like it doesn't want me to read it because maybe I'm not subscribed I don't know what's the deal with it but basically it says all these Tesco little L I D L and Sainsbury's and Iceland urgently recall chicken and chocolate. Oh, all I had to do is click on I accept. Hall Live uses notifications to keep you updated. I do not want to be updated. All right, I have enough email trying to keep them down to a minimum right now. All right, so they're showing a big Aldi sign, but this is over in, in the UK, so I didn't know they had Aldi's over there. Um, Aldi, Sainsbury, and ASDA warning is eggs may contain salmonella. The ASDA urgent warning to parents shopping with children. All right. Supermarkets across the country are urging customers. This must be for the UK now uh, since it's halldailymail.co.uk. Uh, supermarkets across the country are urging customers to return chicken, mussels, chocolate, and more due to safety fears. Well, that's real general. I mean, specific, being, sp <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's not being very specific, all right. The food standards, that sun is about down, and the sky is cloudy. Let's turn a little light on, turn a little light on the subject, huh? Yeah. What you barking at? My dog's been barking at nothing. Bless his heart. He's been traumatized. Okay. Now let me see where my, my position is. Okay. And the lighting is okay. All right. Back to this. All right. So if you have purchased any of the affected items, you can return them for a full refund. Here are all of the affected products. Sainsbury's Mussels, ready to eat. It says responsibly sourced, ready to eat cooked mussels. That's something like a clam, I think. On a shell, something on a shell. Anyway, they should have... Sainsbury's is recalling frozen by Sainsbury's cooked mussels because, oh, salmonella has been found in some. Jasper, let me put my feet up, baby dog. Move over just a little. There, that's good. You can lay back down. You're okay. Hi. Hi, baby. Mommy loves you can lay back down. I needed to put my feet up. Lay back down right beside me. Lay down. Go ahead. He did not like that. <laughs> he looked up at me like, I was laying here first. <laughs> he likes to lay on my ottoman right in front of me. Okay. Um. Anyway, back to the story. <laughs> A spokesman said, wait a minute, okay, yes, because salmonella has been found in some of the products in this batch. A spokesman said it has been brought to our attention that there may be a small quantity of it of by Sansbury's cooked mussels 
300 grams frozen with a best before date of 08092021. So that's the 8th of September 2021. I believe is how they read it over there. That may be contaminated with salmonella. No other date codes affected. To get the whole live headlines every day, simply pop your email address. Okay, now that's an article or advertisement. We are asking customers not to consume this product and to return it to their nearest Sainsbury store when it is safe to do so. When it is safe to do so? Where they will receive a full refund. I guess that means if you have COVID, stay home. When you're well and you test negative, then you can take it back. I don't know what else they could be talking about. For any concerns or questions regarding this, please check our website, Sainsbury's. That's S A I N S B U R Y S dot C O dot U K forward slash help or contact our care line on zero eight zero eight zero eight eight four we would like to apologize for the inconvenience this may cause. Okay, so I'll leave the link in the description box and you can read uh, all the product details and see the pictures of it, okay? Now this one is from the CDC. From C CNN Health is the publication, CNN.com. CDC warns of multi-state listeria outbreak linked to deli meats. Which is why I think I saw this before I placed my order. Yeah, it was, it was in my email. Well, this came out October 24th. I'm not sure when it showed up in my email. But I had seen it and thought, okay, I better hang on to that one. And, um, anyway, CDC warns of multi-state listeria outbreak linked to deli meats. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. So, it's titled, Deli Meats by Lauren Mascarenhas. Mascarenhas. I don't know how to say that. By CNN. There's a video you can watch. And it says, A listeria outbreak has sickened 10 people across three states. And the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention believes deli meats are the cause. The CDC issued a warning about the outbreak Friday, which has sent 10 people from Florida. 10 people. Oh, sickened 10 people across three states. But 10 people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The CDC issued a warning about the outbreak Friday, which has sent 10 people from Florida, Massachusetts, and New York to the hospital and led to the death of one person in Florida. Wow. Yeah, if you're already thin and frail and sickly and you get a bad case of diarrhea from something like this it could kill you it could die especially if they stay at home and think oh I'll take my usual home remedy and it doesn't work 
Let's use our heads, people. Sometimes you just got to go to the doctor. Deli meat was the likely the source of the outbreak, the agency said. Nine victims reported eating Italian-style meats, such as salami. Oh, that's it. Such as salami. Though the CDC has yet to identify a common meal meat. I'm sorry. The, the print is kind of light. Like they're afraid to make the print darker as if it's going to use up more ink. I mean, seriously? I've yet to identify a common meat or supplier as the source. So they really don't know. But they got to say something, I reckon. Okay, Listeria Fast Facts. The median age of those infected was 81. The median age. So that means some were under 81 and some were over 81. What did I just say? Old and frail. Or you could be young and still not eating right and skinny as real. And you're on, you're on your malnourished because you're trying to stop, stay a size one. Okay, and most were female. While many are unlikely to get seriously ill from listeria, people 65 and older and those with weakened immune systems and pregnant women are at a higher risk for becoming sick. If you want to read any more, you can... Yeah, there's a little bit more on listeria. And that little video you can watch. So, you can find it under the link I put in the description box. Okay? With that, I'll say bye for now. And maybe I will talk to you later. But I hope it's in person. Look here. Jesus calms the chaos. Don't forget it. Don't live in fear. Be prepared. And know Jesus is near. I know he's coming for us soon. So much is happening. Oh my goodness. If you haven't seen it here, you can see it in lots of other places. Just type in. I mean, there's the politics. There's there's the, the stuff in the Middle East. War is so close. Then you've got Israel and the U.S., and that going on, are we still dividing Israel? I don't know. I, I stopped following it. Because it seems like just when you think, oh, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction, well, and then it didn't happen. So what happened? I don't know. I can't keep up with it all, and I don't want to try. I'm only one human being. So anyway, thank goodness for lots of other good channels on YouTube. All right, so... No fear. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And He will direct your paths. Uh, that is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Verses 5 and 6. Now, I know there's a few people who think I didn't use very much faith by going to the hospital. And I shouldn't have went. But listen, I used the God-given intelligence that he gave me. This was not a first-time event. I have a history of this. An atrial flutter, when not corrected quickly, can cause a blood clot. And as it keeps fluttering, it can throw it off and shoot it right to your brain wouldn't Satan love it if I had a stroke and laid there couldn't even talk much less do what I'm doing I'm not letting that happen I'm taking precautions I gave the Lord 12 hours it didn't heal it didn't stop I'm doing what I need to do to take care of myself so I can keep taking care of Jasper and doing the work the Lord has for me to do so I'm sorry if you all think that I have some kind of lack of faith. Not y'all. There's a few, I believe. I, that 
You know, we all want to avoid hospital when and if at all possible. You don't go for a broken toe. I mean, seriously, there's nothing they can do for it. If you fall and all it is is a bruise and you're sure of it, put ice on it and stay home. If you think it's a broken bone that can be set, needs to be set, go to the hospital and let them set it. There's, I mean, unless you know how to do it yourself, there's some things we can do for ourselves. There's some things we can take home remedies for. There's other things that we need doctors for. And even though there are some pretty evil doctors out there right now, there's some darn good ones too. And God gave them that profession as much as he gave, allowed me to have nursing knowledge to know what to do when something happens. So when you don't know, do some research. Find out for yourself, is this life-threatening or is this something I can fix myself? You'd be surprised. I fixed my own hiatal hernia from a YouTube video and didn't go have the surgery they wanted me to have. I just took my thumbs and, well, I did what the guy said. I've got it listed in one of my favorite videos on my home page. I believe it's, or it might be under health, health, safety, and COVID, or anyway, you can just type in how to fix your own hiatal hernia, and it'll push your stomach back down where it belongs. And the only reason mine came back up is because of the coughing. So I have to work on it again. But that's the least of my worries right now. You see what I'm saying? Know when it's okay to do your own thing. Uh, with the help of the Lord, pray first. And then do your research. And see if he tells you there is a way to help yourself at home. If you can avoid going to the doctor or the hospital, great. You do that, okay? There are some people who kind of run to the doctor for every little thing, and that they, I hope, are not doing that now and realize that that's a problem, okay? We do need to go to our Father first. Pray first. Give Him a chance to heal it or speak to you to tell you, look something up on YouTube or whatever, See, I already had been, I've already been through this rodeo a few times, and I knew what had to be done. And I was just praying and praying and praying and hoping Jesus would just stop it. But he chose not to. Okay, so I'm having an ablation on Tuesday. Did I tell you that already? I might have. I can't remember who I told. So, um,. Just keep me in your prayers about that, and I am sure the Lord will guide their hands and do like they did nine years ago, burn out the spot, it's making my heart do wrong, and it will be fine, and I will come home the same day, praise the Lord. I want to come home the same day. I am declaring it. I am claiming it. I am claiming their hands will be doing their job perfectly and I will go through it perfectly and come home perfectly well with my heart beating and not fluttering like it should. Amen. Amen. Now I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and all our devices and all our internet connections. And with that, I will say, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.